this is a CT scan of the cervical spine performed from the emergency room for trauma, which is the, typically the most common indication for this examination. And uh, the purpose of this uh, case presentation is to illustrate how important it is to look at all the reformats on a cervical spine CT. Uh, so typically, uh, if we begin by looking at the axial images, when we scroll through this particular set of images, um, it, it's very hard to pick up an abnormality. Everything looks pretty normal. And uh, we scroll up and down, back and forth. And the only point at which there is question of an abnormality or a hint or a suggestion of an abnormality is really in this left transverse process here where it looks like there may be a faint lucency, but this is the sort of thing that's quite difficult to pick up prospectively on axial images <clears throat> because of volume averaging effects. Uh, but when we scroll down through the reformats, and this is kind of interesting, uh, on the coronal reformats, you can see that it starts to look a little bit more real. Uh, there is a more obvious lucency in this left transverse process right here. And when we proceed to look at the sagittal reformats, then the finding becomes even more apparent. And you can see it on this image right here where we have an oblique lucency going across the tip of the transverse process. And this is an unmistakable fracture, which on the other uh, views is uh, not so definite a finding. So uh, the teaching point in this case is that it's important to look at all the reformats uh, in sequence on, uh, on a cervical spine CT, or for that matter, in any multi-detector examination, because uh, some of these findings, which are not apparent on routine axial imaging, which we as radiologists uh, spend most of our time looking at, may spring to uh, our uh, attention when we look at the, uh, the uh, orthogonal plane reformats, in this case, the sagittal reformats for this extremely subtle transverse process fracture. Thank you.